Ladies and gentlemen, California just got a solid and steady earthquake on a Friday night. As I was just explaining that we have a geomagnetic magnetic storm in progress. And you got most of the planets on the same side of the sun, man. I don't know. I've been saying this for years. It's a big deal, especially when the little ones come over as well. Like you've got Eris, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Earth, Luna, Ceres and over here and so there's just not a whole lot of balance and so we're on earthquake and volcano watch and i'm doing a super video thor news um fundraiser this weekend and so whatever's happening i will be talking about it if you'd like to contribute and donate i got 215 dollars left to raise for september with paypal venmo cash app patron and mailbox yay craig for a long saying loving it missing the intros well i'll put up a edited video in the next few days i've been working on one actually um with intros so good news actually that wasn't an earthquake that was just me adjusting my giant vaccine swollen balls because yeah i did get the moderna but technically i must have gotten uh the moderna vaccine in another life because i was born with huge balls Kim Jansen, what they don't tell you about earthquakes in L.A. is that you immediately have this, oh shit, is this it, which is a great stroke song, moment, and a second later you're like, nah, it's fine, forget it, a sharp little dose of morality, or mortality, U USGS hasn't even put it up yet, but, but remember, we had a 7.4 earthquake in Mexico, what day was that, that was the 7th of this month, and then on the 27th, we had the 8.2 earthquake in Alaska, up here, which, you know, we had a tsunami watch up, but none did not happen. So we live in interesting times and we will continue to be on earthquake and volcano watch through the rest of 2021 and definitely in 2022. You know, reports have it anywhere from a 4.9 to a 4.4. And, but I mean, it hit in like downtown by Los Angeles, by Long Beach, right by the coastline, man. And everybody was talking about, it. hey, so much for dogs knowing before earthquake happens this little cute puppers slept through it arise e earthquake twitter earthquake Alyssa wong i just felt it and that's what she said there are gonna be too many of those jokes in this video but yeah i don't know the west treats earthquakes like the east treats hurricanes and nor'easters or lots of snow i guess but no there is not a tsunami expected the NWS is saying it's 4.5, but who knows? Anywhere between 4.9, 4, uh, 4, 5, 3, 9, whatever. Yeah, I am here, my love, as the earthquake hive assembles. Emily Sears, who was just featured in the video before the earthquake, that was one. That one was amazing. That one was an amazing earthquake. It felt like a massage chair. It did. My chair totally vibrated. And then... Kylie Brake woman said, I went under the table for that. And then I said, that's what she said. And that's a pretty good. That's what she said. Joke. And Rex Lee was like, that earthquake felt pretty long. Hashtag entourage forever. Lloyd. All right. Oh, hey. So that was, it was a fun earthquake. So that is good. You know, kind of, I was down a bit because I don't know. I have money problems. And overall, as planetary defense commander, things, you know, the plague has been no fun and the cold civil war has been no fun and just. Anyway, so, I don't know, our earthquake that didn't kill anybody and got everybody moving and grooving and shaking and being like, hey, I'm glad to be alive. Thanks, God. You're great. And, you know, Bree is like, I'm definitely the antagonist. And I want to say this again. And I said it last year in 2020, almost at this exact same time. That, like, karma is going to be in super heavy effect. We have the Pluto era square coming up on the 9th of October, which is means, like, it's going to be super crazy like we've never seen it before around leading up to the 9th of October. And then um, you have Saturn going direct on the 9th and then Jupiter going direct on the 17th. And so 2021 has definitely been a fuck around and find out year. And so I would recommend people on the West Coast not be bragging about being the bad guy, okay? I would definitely not recommend, like every planet is retrograde right now almost. And so right now is not the time to be bragging about being greedy or being evil or being lying or being an antagonist or being a perturber. I don't even want to get into all the, like, I don't know, did you hear the whole Laura Loomer thing? She was like, F you, COVID, you're a hoax. I've had food poisoning worse than you. And then she was like, oh, my God, I got it. It's so horrible. I hate it. It's so much pain. 
You know, I don't know, man. I'm just saying, keep your karma clean. And even if you're a bad person, try to be neutral for the next three months. It's not a good time to be going on the offensive. Karma. That's what I'm saying. Karma and luck, man. Karma and luck. But like Eris and Pluto are going to be whispering in people's ears like, no, go ahead. Be evil. Tell everyone you're evil. And then pump Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, earthquake, man. Hey, just remind you, cryptocurrency is going to get its ass totally kicked in December. Remember when I made the prediction in May and it came true? And I was like, oh yeah, but when Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius, crypto will do really well again until December. So I've been calling this shit super accurate pretty much since 2017. Right? And the sun's been freaking out. Like it went from like six sunspots in July to zero. And then it went to six sunspots in August back, went out back to zero. Although we got coronal mass ejection slapping us in the face and a bunch of crazy filaments on the sun. Yeah, here, see that? I mean, so we've had filaments popping off you know we got all the, all the plants pretty much on the same side you got people losing their minds coronal best ejections geomagnetic storms we definitely live in the most interesting times though you know i wonder what was the most boring times maybe the 70s okay you know it's weird it's like there are things me and the grand solar minimum guys agree on like uh a the sun totally affects the weather and earth and b the more um, coronal mass ejections or coronal hole wind stream, wind speed you get, getting hit in the face with coronal wind, like that affects earthquakes and the volcanoes because there's a little star in the middle of our planet. Yeah, geomagnetic storm, man. And as I mentioned in the video right before this one, Popocatépetl, the volcano in Mexico, is totally freaking out. And I don't know if you know this, but even though they draw invisible lines on the countries the coasts are still connected so you've got all this volcano and earthquake activity down here you've got volcano and act up there they're like this is in the middle so just saying at the last 24 hours is the most i've been seeing papa Catepel, the volcano in mexico freaking out man um so stay tuned stay cool and think good thoughts bro man and then, like, I lay it all out for you guys. Like, I warned that you had the, I believe it was Uranus square Saturn on the 14th of February, 2021. That was the first one. And we had 400 Texans die because they shut the power grid off and it got super cold for a couple of days. Then, on the second Uranus square um, Saturn, that was in, I think, June... That was when we got the giant heat wave that killed hundreds up to 800 people in British Columbia. We have the third of that boss fight on, check this out, December 24th. So it has this whole natural disaster slash diehard cryptocurrency. Like, man, October, November, and December are going to be crazy, nuts, wild. And I'm telling you, we're going to get some type of major weather event right around Christmas this year. I can pretty much guarantee you that. And I can guarantee you October is going to be freaky as well. So, you know, everybody stay hang in there, stay cool. And, you know, um, California's finally getting some rain. About the same time, maybe the the plate boundary just freaked out. It was like, oh my God, what is this? Rain? I'm not used to it. So it got the shivers and the tingles, which, uh, you know, became an earthquake. Oh yeah, and the Texas State Securities Board claims celsius interest bearing crypto deposits are unregistered securities and has ordered the company to appear before a hearing february so i'm telling you they're gonna drop the hammer you know they've been tied up with the whole plague thing at some point i would just get out of crypto before december man and the whole idea that there was going to be an escape pattern for some of these hurricanes that looks like it's no longer there as the ridge is, the ridge is settling in so we got a lot to watch. Do you remember how fun last winter was? Well, it's going to be a lot like that this. Anyway, there's snow on the ground in British Columbia. All right, fantastic. Yo, dog, I heard you like cut off upper lows. Rex blocking, hashtagging. But no matter what, I want you to have a super duper, absolutely fantastic weekend. And yeah, the West Coast probably going to get shook and they're going to get wet. Say you'll remember me. Standing on your porch, wearing yoga pants, standing in your kitchen, doing your dishes. It was so cute. She did my dishes. What was it talking about? Oh, yeah. So, you got an atmospheric river coming into the west. Here's where the earthquake happened. We got a big high pressure zone over here. And then you got this giant, like, 
water dragon. Look at that thing, man. We we live in crazy times, man. Look how big that thing is. That's thousands of miles. Thousands of miles. That's totally thousands of miles. Man, my September fundraiser is going slow. So, if you'd like to contribute, so my personal life doesn't have to feel so doomy. I got a snail mail, PayPal, Patron, Cash App, Venmo. But shit's doomy, though, and I'm pretty sure I will be hanging on for my life until Jupiter goes direct. So I got like 30 days of Will Thorne who survive. Strange sounds, terrifying sandstorm changes day into night and turns sky blood red in Algeria. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I don't know. So do me for me, do me for you, do me for everybody. Crazy days indeed, my friends. But yeah, the public tape belt volcano has been freaking out. And that is just south of Los Angeles. I don't know if you knew that. Mexico and California are connected. And, you know, Texas is connected. So is, I think, Arizona and um, New Mexico. Don't press me on my geography, though. Okay? All right. Oh, yeah. So I mentioned the fundraiser. Excellent. 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 Okay. Stay, I only got $250 left to raise for September. Then I get to shut up about money again until the October fundraiser. Okay. Stay cool. Have a great night. I will probably be talking to y'all soon since I'm in super weekend fundraiser mode. You know? All right. If you don't like it, you're always absolutely welcome to leave. God bless everyone. And I love you, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are incredible, and you're always the miracle I need. And you and God and Jesus Christ. Okay. Have a great night. God bless everyone. Stay cool.